Hey guys, KRX50 here, done the review. This time I'll be reviewing the Socha Kenshin, Kamen Rider Gachard 1, Seam Hopper, and a Paris Gebo and Ant Wrestler set from Kamen Rider Gachard. This is the first set in the new Standard Figure line for the series, which is actually a revival of the original Standard Figure line from the Heisei era, which consisted of a base body and armor equipped onto it. This includes several things. A base figure, the wild modes of the three forms, two pairs of alternate hands, and one accessory. So, let's get started. First, I'll take a look at the base figure. This is a pretty simple design, but this is something that's accurate to the show. So, the main body is primarily black with lots of silver and orange to it. You can see the head, which doesn't have too much detail. But we do have Gotchard's signature orange arrow lines that converge inwards. You have the chest, which has some nice indented details, as well as the nice shoulder pads. Got the details of the arms. On the left arm, he does have the Gotchard draw holder equipped to him. We have the base of the Gotchard driver, with a buckle, as that is different depending on which form he uses. And that's my details for legs coming down to the feet. A lot of it is unpainted, but that's because a lot of the color and detail comes from equipping the armor. Articulation-wise, it's pretty interesting. It's got a swirl joint at the neck instead of a rotation joint at the head. You know, the head does go up and down. For the arms, you can rotate around all the way. Keeping in mind that You have to make sure that the shoulder gets out of the way too. Bend outward 90 degrees. Have an individual bicep swivel. A pretty solid single joint elbow. And then a ball joint at the wrist. There's a waist swivel. And legs go forward and back. A little bit. In and out. Bend at the knee. No thigh swivel, but a little bit of hip rotation. And then ball joint ankles. Now one thing to note is that on mine, uh, I seem to have gotten one that may have you know, not exactly met the quality standards, as there is some looseness, especially in the hip joint. But that may not be a universal problem. Next, we'll look at the wild modes, and what these are are essentially the raw versions of Gotchard's forms. Taking the armor that makes up the form, and then it being a sort of creature or spirit that represents the elements that will make up the actual form. First up is Steam Hopper Wild, which is mostly a grasshopper, has you no know, mostly grasshopper element, but there is also a crane boiler in the back. You can see the face here with Gotchard's goggles being its eyes, and then also having a little mouth down here. You can see it has six legs, some at the front, some at the back. It does bend get that proper grasshopper shape. It's mostly connected together by what will be Gotchard's scarf. And you also see the Gotchard driver for Seam Hopper here, helping to make up the form itself. And this thing does have its own articulation with a ball joint here for the head and joints for legs, as well as you know, bending joints at a couple different points in the back legs. Second, we have a Paris Skebo Wild. Now, as you can see there, these pieces do not connect in the most solid way. So sometimes they may fall apart a little bit. But here is the Paris Skebo Wild, which is essentially a suit of samurai armor on a skateboard. You also see it has some kind of mufflers there. A little fan design in the chest. Scarf connected in the back. And then the skateboard down below, which helps to connect 
the whole thing together, as well as the Gatar driver for Aparizquebo. And the wheels are actual functional wheels, so they will roll along quite well. Then third we have Ant Wrestler Wild, which is actually separated into three pieces. First is the Wrestler G section, which has you know a kind of wrestler look to it. You can see a ring bell. Also a little bit of an ant head to it. Nice paint applications of gold and silver. And here we have the Gotcha Driver 4 Ant Wrestler. Then we have two Ant Trooper parts. Which do look the, like these kind of two elongated ants. But now that we're looking at the armor that makes up the forms, we can then equip them to Gotar to make his actual forms. So, of course, the first one we look at is going to be the base form of Steam Hopper. So, to equip the armor gem, we need to start by basically dismantling the entire thing. I'm going to remove the head from here. Take off this piece from here. And then, pull off the leg armor. Take off the belt and remove these pieces from here. And then we start crippling from the bottom up. So we're just going to take the leg armor, straighten it out, making sure this is flat against the ground. We'll take this tab here and plug it into the shin using this port. Do the same for the other side. Then take the gacha driver and plug it onto the waist. Take these pieces and with the blue piece on the outside, use that tab to slide into the forearms on gacha. Then take the chest armor, raise up the legs like this, so we can then use this tap here to plug it into the uh, port on the chest, and open up the boiler there, and you can form the armor onto the rest of the body. Take the scarf and plug it into this hole on the back. Finally, we're going to take the helmet, fold down this piece, fold down the jaw, and plug it onto Gotchard's head. And here we have Conrad Gotchard steam hopper form. So let's take a closer look. Starting from the head, we can see how we've got a great look to the helmet where you can actually see how it's layered with the helmet going over top of the base head, giving it a bit more depth than other helmets. You can see the goggles here and the antennae. You see the eyes peeking out nicely from the actual middle of the helmet. Get then getting down to the body, you have the chest that opens up 
to show this nice fire detail on the inside. And note is that both this and the belt are made with using stickers that you have to apply yourself, though they aren't too hard to do. The main legs of Steam Hopper wrap nicely around the torso. We've got the nice armor on the forearms as well as the leg armor. And for the belt itself, you can see that use of a cigarette is a very good choice here because we can see all the nice color and detail for the Steam Hopper form and the way the belt looks when it's like that. So it's definitely a good decision to make it like that as it definitely helps add a lot more color and vibrancy than it was, say, an unpainted piece. Now, one thing that's nice to know is that the armor here really does not have too much effect on the articulation. Of course, the head still has the same basic articulation as always. And thanks to the fact that these are articulated, you can move the grasshopper legs to help facilitate a lot of the arm articulation, especially on the shoulders. I think what's most impressive is the articulation here in the legs, where, of course, we have the knee joints, but what's nice is because of the way that this is engineered, you can then take the thigh armor and bend it inward so that it goes flush with the leg, therefore not breaking up the design, which is a very nice detail that helps really allow for good-looking poses. Not only that, we have the scarf here in the back, which can be rotated all the way around, so you can have this flowing whatever way you like, and it will hold its position. We can also use this to take a look at the optional parts. So I have two sets of alternate hands. First being these open, relaxed, kind of posing hands. And then the others being gripping hands. As well as one weapon being a silver gut charge gun. It is unpainted, no stickers or anything, but you can see that it did capture a lot of the details in the mold. So if you want, and swap out a couple of hands, like giving a relaxed hand here. Then a gripping hand here. I'm just getting this piece back into place. We can then equip Gotchard with his Got Charge gun. And from there you can pose him as you see fit. Next, we'll equip Gotchard with a part skibbo. So once again, we basically need to take the whole thing apart. So starting off these two, and take the belt off of the skateboard, which will then split into two pieces. Then from the belt, we'll detach two pieces on the side, and fold down this crotch piece. And take the helmet off of the armor, and we're ready to go. So for the feet, we've got a peg here that goes into holes on the bottom of the feet themselves. So we'll slide in, and plug it in. Then you have the shin armor, which will be facing up. 
You just want to match the proper shape to the proper slot. It might actually go like this. Ah, no, no, I got it right. This one goes on this side. And this goes on the other side. Then we'll attach the gotcha driver to the waist. Then we'll lift up the shoulder pads. So we can place the armor over the shoulders and put it into place. Put down the shoulder pads and open up the chest piece. And finally, we can take the helmet and plug it on. And here we have Kaminar Gatchard, a Paris Gebo form. So let's take a look. Whereas Steam Hopper gave us a Steampunk Grasshopper, for a Pirate Skibo we get a Skin Samurai. Starting with helmet is a pretty good looking Samurai helmet. Nice chin strap down here. We got the crest which kind of looks like sunglasses. And the top of the helmet has some resemblance to a baseball cap. You have the fins coming out the shoulder, as well as a cape here in the back or rather scarf, which is on its own rotation joint. We've got the chest armor itself, which has a pretty strong samurai look, especially with the layering to it. The fan here in the middle is a very samurai Edo period kind of decoration. Still have the fire down in the chest, which is a shared theme among basically all of Gotchard's forms. We have the Gotchard driver with the cigar to represent the changed image for a Paris Gebo form. We have the shin armor, and instead of a skateboard, it then converts into roller skates. And again, these do have wheels, so we can roll along quite nicely. And thankfully, they are wide enough so that it doesn't cause him to kind of slip over or whatnot. Plus, similarly to how we had it on Steam Hopper, the shoulder pieces are on their own ball joints, so they can move out of the way and then form back onto the armor to have some nice clean looking poses. Last but not least, we'll equip Gotchard with Ant Wrestler. So there actually isn't too much to take apart with this one. Mostly just taking off the Gotchard driver and folding in these two pieces. Then taking off the helmet. So there's no armor that goes onto the legs, meaning we'll just start by placing on the gotcha driver, which you just have to fold down this piece for. Hmm. Then, I'm going to take the arms. And actually what we're going to do is, rather than putting them on the arms themselves, or the arm armor, we're actually going to take these little clips and use them to attach them onto 
the shoulder just like that so they're connected and same on the other side now we gotta make sure that you have the correct arm piece for the right shoulder just like that and there move the pieces out of the way and equip it onto the charge at the chest piece It properly secures into place. Then we can bring down the armor onto the arms. Open up the chest like that. Then take the helmet and fold down the lower jaw piece. Then place it on the head. And here we have Kaminar Gotchard and Wrestler Form. So let's take a look. Being an ant wrestler, all of the armor is focused on the upper body and none on the lower body. Starting from the head, we can see his helmet, which does kind of look like a luchador mask that is appropriately ant themed. You can see the whites of the eyes, which is how a luchador mask would typically look. Plus antennae to help kind of get that point across. I have a lot of kind of lightning bolt patterns to it. And of course the anti details do go down into the fists. We've got the ring bell here. Once again he has a scarf that can be moved around. And of course we have the fire detail in the chest and the changing design for the gotcha driver. And once again we have accommodated its articulation. As the arm armor does move with the arms itself themselves, and because of the way it's articulated, you can indeed move them with the shoulders. And while I don't always say the most flush, this does greatly help with posability. Especially since you do have the fact that the armor pieces are connected at the shoulder. So you can't quite get as much out of it as you might be able to had they not been. But this is a nice way of making use of the armor, keeping it on, as well as, again, helping to accommodate and essentially keep it flush and sleek with the rest of the design. Finally, as opposed to how this set works with how the armor piece is equipped to the body, you can actually use pieces from the different form to make your own original form and toy original in general. So, for example, I've taken pieces from all three forms, equipment to the body in a unique combination that does have a lot more color. And now the pieces get in the way of each other. And as you can see, you can even get a little bit creative, such as taking off the foot armor for the steam hopper legs in order to allow the feet armor for a Skabo to go on instead. And that definitely is something that is, you know, gonna be great for the kids because it allows for a lot of creativity beyond just the standard combinations that they show you in the instructions. And there we go. Overall I think this is a great set and a solid start to the new line. I was quite surprised to learn that the new standard feeder line for the year would be a revival of a much older Fayer series, but I think it works well for Gotchard, not only in that this is very accurate to the show, in how when you see him transform, you do see a base body that the armor attaches then onto, but also in terms of how they engineer this very well, so that the parts move with the Fayer's articulation and joints, so that no matter how you pose it, you can still get the armor to have a clean look instead of singing out awkwardly. Now, in terms of the articulation terms I showed, this is probably just a QC issue on mine, so I don't think that if you get one of these, you're guaranteed to have the same kind of loose strength I did. It might just be that I got unlucky. So, if you're looking for a gut chart fear that gives you a lot of value for your money, especially with how this set has three forms in one, I can never recommend picking this up. 
Next time, I'll be taking a look at the Deluxe Kami Riser and Deluxe Gachan Collection panel. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is Karis50, riding off.